after that glorious, fantastic, you know, second segment, which is like the, the best thing I've ever seen. I mean, it was just the scariest, you know, uh, horror anthology segment ever. I mean, that was just tops. I mean, I don't know how this film can get better from that. After that, man, I might as well just stop watching this movie after this second segment. Said, is that fucking great? If you didn't notice, I'm being fucking sarcastic. That shit was fucking awful. <laughs> I mean, wow. So anyway, after that, you have another guy, dumbass fucking friend, who's you know who's still busy robbing the house. And he goes in, instead of taking the tape out again and walk, go on tape, you know, go and watch it someplace else. No, he decides to sit next to the dead guy and watch it. And doesn't notice that his friend is missing. Yeah, some great friends they are. Anyway, the third segment is like the glitch killer segment, which is interesting. It's got some good ideas. Doesn't flush them out very well and doesn't make any fucking sense. And that's the problem there. It's ambiguous, supposed to be ambiguous. Well, you know, there's a difference between ambiguous and random. And this is just fucking random. And there's no explanation for it. For why he's glitching. You don't know why he's glitching. You don't know why you can't film this guy. He looks like he's the fucking predator. But I know for a fact he's not the fucking predator. So that's out the window. So but anyway the plot of this story. Is there's this chick. And we have more obnoxious fucking assholes. Great. Great. I could, and you know I really honestly... I need. That's what I needed. Then this is this is what this movie desperately needed: more obnoxious, drunk, fucking high morons. We needed more of them because the world doesn't have enough of those guys. I mean, seriously, when do you ever see those characters on film nowadays? God, well, like it's a horror film. You know, that's the typical. I don't. I don't want to see that. I'm tired of seeing these fucking drunk, obnoxious dickholes on film, man. They're fucking assholes. And they're fucking idiots. So right off the bat, they're just cannon fodder. I don't give a shit what happens to them. They can fucking get butt fucked by the glitch killer for all I care. So anyway, you find out that the the girl who's taking them on this, her friend's on this trip to the woods. She's got a hidden agenda. She wants revenge. She's using her friends as bait to get revenge and kill the glitch killer who killed her family and her friend. Am, am I 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 thinking clearly here? It, 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 you know, tell tell me if I'm wrong here, but you know, let let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know how you feel about this. Does that make any sense to you? Like, if some killer killed your friends and your family, would, would you sacrifice your friends to kill him? No, I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think you would. Because it's fucking stupid! That's what that is. Or it's just fucking crazy. And this and this this chick, she's just, you know, she's just as fucking batshit and as insane as a glitch killer. I mean, right off the bat, you don't give a shit about, you know, you don't care about her plight. Because she's fucking killing, sacrificing her friends to for her own gain. Wow! <laughs> give this fucking lady, give this lady a fucking medal, man. Jesus, she deserves a Nobel Prize for that fucking shit. So anyway, the glitch killer effect is cool. I'll give it that. But then it has some really problem. There's some fucking bad goof here. She cat, she thinks she catches the glitch killer. Of course, before that, you have one of those awful fucking gore effects I've seen in a long time. I mean, the blonde chick. She's a dumbass, of course. Duh. You know, that's what this movie... Everybody's a dumbass. There's like one person I'll get to later that, that, that isn't a dumbass. But everyone else is a fucking dumbass. You know, it's like this movie is made for dumbasses. Like it's fucking horror anthology for idiots. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, this movie just pisses me off. <laughs> so, you know, when I get pissed, my brain... I can't... You know, things just come out. And, and if I offended anybody, I'm deeply sorry. I really am. If you like the film, it's fine. I don't. So anyway, you know, she gets a knife through the eye and her eyeball hanging out. It looks so fucking fake. So anyway, after that, I mean, literally, because like shit I've seen out of a trauma film. And then later, later after that, she catches the glitch killer. She thinks it's like some trap. And then she turns around, and he's disappeared. 
And of course he kills her. He shows up right next to her and starts killing her. But you know what else disappeared? The fucking trap. The trap disappeared too. That's a fucking major goof there. I mean, I didn't know the glitch killer could teleport shit <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> God. So, of course, that story ends. Like, she gets killed. There's no redemption. So she killed her friends for no fucking... Set her friends up for bait for no fucking reason. Because she ends up dying. Great. Mm. Good job, movie. Then after that, the wraparound story ends. I think, no, the wraparound story doesn't end yet. What a hit. Next story is like someone about some Skype web chat. What the fuck is this doing? What the fuck is a Skype web chat doing on a fucking VHS tape? Cause can, you know, you know how much of a pain in the fucking ass it is to rip a VHS from some to record something onto a VHS. Why the fuck would you do that in today's age when you got something known as I don't know DVD or like the DVD? You know why would you put a fucking, your fucking hornthology shit. Why would you put your, you know, I don't know, gore or whatever, or gore tapes or fucking snuff films on VHS when you can put on this? Why is this film called VHS? Oh, I know why, because it stands for very fucking, very horrible shit. That's why, it is very horrible shit, so I guess it's true in that regard. But really, it should just be called DVDR. Or random shit. The motion picture. Anyway. Third story, there's some guy who says he's a doctor, but, you know, all he does is ask, you know, the, the girl to show him his tits. Show, show him her tits. Oh, he's a doctor, all right. My ass. <laughs> yeah, my left fucking nut, he's a doctor. He's all like, show me your titties. I'm a doctor. You're like, yeah, fuck. Yeah, right. A sex doctor. <laughs> God. Anyway, he he doesn't want to help this girl, and this the actress who does it. She does a really good job, and she's like the only person in this fucking movie, entire movie can act. And she's getting abused, and she's treated like shit. And this doctor, he can't fucking act. He's one note. He's all like, "How are you doing? Are you all right?" <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> talking about this movie's giving me fucking phlegm <sighs> anyway the doctor's all like you alright you know are you okay and then there's this one scene where she literally she's like I got a bump in my arm and then later she like starts cutting it she's like on camera like cutting something cut, fu fucking poking holes in her arm and the doctor's all like don't do that no don't do that don't do that that's not that's not right. Don't do that. You're just gonna make it worse. Don't do that, honey. Don't do that. You're like, who the fuck would react like that? He's a doctor. He's supposed to be professional. I don't care. Is he in his fucking doctor's office? No, he's sitting on his fucking ass with his shirt off, showing his fucking hairy chest, talking to some fucking chick, and he's watching her dig a hole in her arm, and he's all like, duh, what? don't do that. Don't. No. What is he fucking... What did he go to the Mark Wahlberg School of Acting? What did he watch The Happening? I thought that was like an absolutely Oscar-worthy performance. I thought he could just, just you know, just emulate that performance. What? No! <laughs> fucking terrible. So then you find out the twist in this story. Is that... I, can't, I don't even know what the fuck the twist was. Is it an alien? Is it a ghost? I don't know what the fuck it is. You just find out the doctor isn't a doctor, of course. Or he's a doctor, but he lives next door. And he's just fucking with this chick. And he ends up killing her and taking out some fetus. And for, I don't know what the fuck it is. And then the, the, the segment ends with him fucking asking another chick to take her top off. What? I'm sorry, titties... You know, do not a good movie make. You can have all the titties you want, but it doesn't mean the movie's any good. So then after that, the wraparound story ends. Which you're like, okay, the movie's over. All right, good. It's over finally. The wraparound story ends in just fucking ridiculous fashion. The the last fucking asshole, I think the guy with the mustache, he realizes his friend's dead. He really he realizes nobody's in the house. They're like, where are you guys? Fuck. Where are you, you motherfuckers? And he's looking around, and he notices, he doesn't notice that the chair, nobody's sitting in the chair. The old guy in the chair isn't there anymore. 
Because he's a fucking... Do, do, do. So then... <laughs> he, his reaction to this is classic. He's going... He sees he sees his friend he sees his friend with no head. And then he's all like, "Fuck no, fuck no, why?" <laughs> it's, it's like he's it's like he's fucking reacting like Bill and Ted. And he was all like, "Whoa, dude, bogus!" And of course, the old zombie, the old man who turns out to be a zombie, kills his ass. That's the end of that story. God, this shitty wraparound. And what? And they're like, okay, the movie's finally over. It's over finally. I don't have to sit through this boring ass fucking waste of my motherfucking time. No. I'm getting another story. Which takes place in 1998. Because it has to, you know, it has to give you the 98 thing on the bottom of the fucking screen. And. They go, these dumbasses are going to go to a Halloween party. And these guys are a little bit more likable than the ever douchebags and the ever stories, but they're still kind of douchey. But they're not too douchey. Like, they're sort of palatable. And this is the one story, like I was saying, that was, like, kind of decent. But doesn't save the movie. Because I have to sit through an hour and 40 or minutes of fucking bullshit and boring fucking shit to get there. I have to sit through an hour of fucking succubus bitch, uh, you know, with her fucking cat eyes... You know, saying, I like you. And then, you know, then you have fucking... Two, the fucking second segment of fucking two boring-ass couples just duh, droning on for ten minutes. And then you have the third story with some glitch killer where some chick has an e a vendetta against this killer, but then she's going to sacrifice her fucking friends for it, which makes no fucking sense because the killer killed her friends. You know, she's just a dude, just about as a, much of a douche as a killer, so I don't really care if you shit about that. Then you have the wraparound, you have the Skype webcam chat with some pervy fucking doctor and some alien ghost thing controlling the fucking events and, you know, uh, fucking what? I don't know what. And then you have the wraparound story, which you're like, whatever, good riddance, the guy with the mustache deserved to get fucking killed. Then you have the ending, the end story, which two guys go to some, they're going to go to a Halloween party and the guy's dressing up with this dumbass fucking bear costume. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. I mean, it's not cool at all. It's like, if you're trying to be cool, man, you're not going to dress up like a fuck, fucking Teddy Ruxpin. I mean, like, you might as well dress up like a Teddy Bear, like a fucking Care Bear. <laughs> Look like such a badass, man. So then, anyway, they end up getting their car, and they go to some, they stop at some house, and there's nobody there. There's no cars there. There's no nothing. And they assume that this is the house the party's in. Great, we have to have more fucking dumbasses. So anyway, they go in the house, nobody's in there, and they're like, this house is empty. You're like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. So anyway, they go up the basement, they check out the house, they go up the basement, they see this chick tied up. These guys are like, I'm going to do an exorcism of some sort. And some guy gets flown 10 feet in the air. And instead of the natural reaction to be like, you know, get the fuck out of there, like in Ghostbusters, when Ray has a dumb plan, get her, you know, now they're like, oh, let's save the chick, instead of running the fuck out and getting the fuck out of the house, no, 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 no. So, they end up, you know, then they end up while going through the house, saving the girl, and then you have some kind of, you have some really good, kind of cool haunted house stuff, hands through the walls, really good, cool stuff, stuff flying around, I'm like, okay, this needs to be in a better movie, not this fucking boring ass pointless random ass shit that came before this segment so then you know they escape they get out of the house and haunted ha ha the house of horrors alive and they get in the car and they think they're saving the girl of course the girl flips out she disappears they're like where is she shows up in front of the car and she basically makes it so the car can't work anymore because she's a demon i guess and they get fucking blindsided by a fucking train yeah that that's that, that's the end of the movie and then you have some obnoxious hipster song at the end with more of the fucking scenes of the assholes being assholes, smashing shit. And it's all like, you know, da 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 Shit, I hate this movie. I had nothing. Fucking nothing. I give this movie nothing. It deserves nothing. Fuck VHS. Fuck it up its overhyped fucking ass. This does not deserve a sequel. So, anyway, I really don't know what to say, except, man, this shit makes Creepshow 3 look like a goddamn fucking Oscar-worthy movie, and if you like the film, fine, but I fucking hate this movie. 
So, thanks for watching my rant on VHS, aka very horrible shit, and I will see you guys later. See ya.